Today, we become legends. Gods in Smite are fickle things. Balance changes are made almost non-stop to respond to meta shifts, tone down overpowered gods or buff bad ones in an effort to keep the game balanced. Freya, however, takes this concept to another level. Hey, my name's Inter, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, then be sure to subscribe for all my content coming soon. Today, we're going to cover the most reworked god in Smite's history from start to finish. That's right, today we discuss Freya's turbulent history in Smite. So for Freya's release, there's not too much to talk about. She was released in October 2012, just five months after the game's original closed beta release, so she's a true OG. Her kit was mostly the same as it is now, we'll call this the Mark 1 kit. Her 1 gave her auto's bonus damage and her 2 made them AoE, both for a limited duration. Her 2 loses the AoE and slow, when her 1 is active you get the drill. One thing to note though was that both these abilities did half damage when the other was active, so when she activated both she was doing quite significantly reduced damage. But the main thing of note for Freya's release was that she was released back in a time when all basic attacks were physical, regardless of your god's primary damage type, and any god could build any item. So back at Freya's release she could buy Deathbringer and crit with her basics among other things. This is why her passive back then converted 20% of her magical power into physical power so her basics could still hit pretty hard with a full magical build. But that's Freya's original Mark 1 design. But Freya's release isn't really the spotlight of this video so let's move on to her post launch changes and the many reworks she's undergone over the years. So it would appear that Freya launched pretty weak, as four different buff patches came her way in the space of three months after launch, increasing her power in a variety of ways such as cooldown decreases on her primary damage, an addition of a mechanic that gave her life steal when her 1 and or 2 were active, a clear inspiration for her passive that she still holds today after the physical auto attacks kicked the bucket, the removal of the damage halving on pulse and irradiate being used together, and a nice buff to irradiate's damage and scaling. The next big changes to Freya came in beta patch 0.1.16 where she was possessed by the devil, <clears throat> I mean where her basic attacks were changed to magical, in line with all other magical gods at the time. This came with some substantial nerfs to both her steroids given that her basics now scaled much harder with magical power. This was also the patch that took the lifesteal off of her 1 and 2 and made it into the passive that she now has today to replace the old passive as it was no longer needed because of the auto attacks change. This is what I consider Freya's Mark 2 design. Some of the damage nerfs were reverted after this patch and then reverse it again, some things never change I guess. Some more nerfs to Freya's ult followed this, I haven't mentioned a lot of the small changes this ability has been getting in the background of these other changes, but this used to have 80 units of range, almost as far as Thost 1 through Glyph, and way higher damage than before, so it's worth a mention given that this ult will be busted in the present day climate if it had its release stats. So other than minor nerfs and buffs, not too much else changed for Freya for about 4 years, until July 2018 when her first major rework came. This rework came with huge changes to her 1 and 2 as well as a completely new passive and more nerfs to her ultimate. This was her Mark 3 design. So first up, the new passive, instead of giving her life steal, gave her either healing or mana restoration based on if she was in ranged or melee mode when she landed basic attacks. 6% mana and 2% max health. This might seem a little strange until you get into her 1 and her 2. So her 2 was reworked to be a toggle ability instead of duration based. You could toggle this on at any time free of charge to turn your basic attacks ranged and allow them to go through minions damaging them all but stopping at the first god hit. The slow didn't apply anymore and neither did the AoE damage. But of course you could still AoE minions with this because it would go through them all. Instead of an upfront cost for x seconds of uptime, this ability instead cost mana per shot. So generally you could go into range mode to clear and poke and then go into melee mode to restore mana so you could go back into range mode. Her 1 instead of being a duration based steroid was turned into a one time burst damage on Freya's next auto attack in an area around a target and slowed. This basically took that part of her 2 and moved it into her 1. This was what gave Mark 3 Freya the nickname Burst Freya as she turned from a somewhat ADC like god or being described as a magical hunter to being completely completely all out burst damage. The bonus damage from her 2, 1 and polynomicon meant she could just press 2, then 1, auto you once and you basically died or lost like 80% of your health. This was probably the most unbalanced Freya we've ever seen and was the phase where Freya mid actually became better than Freya ADC because of her great wave clear and insane burst damage. Don't get me wrong though, she could still compete in ADC too and solo, and jungle for that matter. This Freya was pretty OP if you haven't realised yet. Some expected nerfs came to the damage and scaling of her 1 in the following patches, and a smaller nerf to her 2's damage also. But the next major changes came in the form of yet another, admittedly more minor this time, rework in March 2019 Season 6. This was her Mark 4 design. This came with a significant overhaul of her 2, which brought it somewhere in the middle of the Mark 2 and Mark 3 designs. Instead of providing all the damage up front in one big burst that deleted your whole health bar, the damage was 
split into five hits, so you had to actually land consistent basics to get the full damage out of this, which was slightly higher than before in total to compensate for that. Along with the changes to the mana cost of her two to allow more basic attacks before she depleted her whole mana pool and had to go back to melee to get mana back, this brought her more back to her original role as a magical ADC. She was still strong in mid at the time, but she shifted more towards ADC at this point. So if you didn't get the memo yet, Freya was once again ridiculously broken after the Mark IV rework. Some significant nerfs, mostly to her 1, but also to her 2's base damage and scaling, came in the following patches to tone her down once again. But as you will know if you're educated on modern day Freya, even this Mark IV kit was not her final design. In late season 6, all changes they had made to Freya over the last 2 years were completely reverted and wiped from the slate, and her Mark II design, which is the design from the physical auto attack removal onwards, was restored. Her passive gave standard lifesteal now, her 1 and 2 were back to being steroids with cooldowns, and the slow and AoE damage were back to her 2 instead of her 1. While it's mostly the same as Mach 2, I like to call this design Mach 2.5, as it is slightly different numbers wise, and just calling it Mach 2 would discount the insane journey Freya has been on over the last few seasons. Who knows, maybe we'll see Freya Mach 5 at some point, given her performance lately has been as volatile as ever, with her being one of the best gods in the game when Ring of Hikate dominated the ADC meta, to now being one of the worst for quite a while since that got nerfed. I can definitely see high res taking another whack at Freya given how hard she is to balance, even in her most balanced iteration, which is Mach 2. But that's Freya's entire history in Smite. Basically three reworks for one god, or even four if you count the revert as a rework. She sure had a crazy ride so far. Let me know your favourite Freya design in the comments down below. Did you prefer one shot Freya, kill the entire team in five seconds Freya, OG Freya, or were you even around for physical autos Freya? Be sure to drop a like before you leave and I'll catch you guys in another video later on. Have a great day and peace out you nerds.